Woody Woodpecker Show. Woody tells me he has some swell cartoons for you today. So I hope you'll enjoy yourself. Get set, get ready. Here comes rough and ready. They're tough and steady, always rough and ready. They sometimes have their little spats, even fight like dogs and cats. But when they need each other, that's when they're rough and ready. <laughs> home and try him. Gorilla for sale. See in the window, the gilla gorilla, full of charm and appeal. Handsome, elegant, intelligent, sweet. He's really ideal. Don't you want a little gorilla you can call your own? A gorilla who'll be with you when you're all alone. The Magilla Gorilla Show, presented by Ideal Toys. They're wonderful toys. They're ideal. <laughs> Get it? Gorilla, Magilla, Gorilla, for sale. How much is that gorilla in the window? Take our advice at any price. A gorilla like Magilla is mighty nice. Gorilla, Magilla, Gorilla, for sale. presentation.
and his pal, Bullwinkle the Moose. Hi, glad to see you, Jim. Likewise. We got some great things on the show today. Like what? Like what? Well, you ought to know, Bullwinkle. You're in some of them. Well, let's get started. Our program is brought to you by Tootsie Roll. My favorite candy.
But, uh, son, catching mice is pretty strenuous work, and I'm not as young as I used to be. But, Father, I can help you a lot. Though I'm only three and a half, I'm ever so strong. Hmm, he might be able to help me quite a little at that. You are now going to see your old, broken-down father unincest, one old, broken-down, mouse-infested house. Hey, man, you're not broken down. You're a real cool cat. Um, yeah. Come on, son. Aha, a mouse. Now, watch your father's incomparable stalking technique. Pedro, what do you want to do tonight? I don't know, Manuel. What do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. Want to go out with pretty girls? Only pretty girls in love with Speedy Gonzalez. What's left are chihuahuas. <laughs> Folks, it's a Warner Brothers television production. The Bugs Bunny Show. Oscar-winning rabbit, Bugs Bunny. Good evening, folks. I've just been checking over the fan mail. We get all kinds. For example, here's one from a frustrated father. Listen. Dear Bugs, my son plays hooky, is disrespectful, and drives his teachers out of their minds. What can I do? Signed, Frustrated Father. Well, uh, it just so happens that we might be of some help. We have with us tonight the Father of the Year, Sylvester Cat. <clears throat> <clears throat> Greetings. 
things might... Stop that! Maybe this'll help you to remember. Father, don't look now, but we're on television. Huh? Oh. <laughs> that, obviously, is the wrong way to raise a son. A father should be a buddy to his boy, a pal. Now, when I was a member of the Explorers Club... Father! I guess you have to make some allowances for fathers as they get older. I'll tell you the real story about that incident. I had been out playing with the other cats, and they were saying some pretty nasty things about my father. Now that you have your son's confidence, begin to mold his little mind. I pride myself on the fact that I am never too busy to tell my son about my experiences and travel in other countries. Why, when I was in Mexico, I was treated like a king. I. Oh, this is too much for my sensitive little ears. What will the fellas in Troop 12 say? Father's travel in Mexico consisted of time spent in one place trying to catch one special mouth. Pedro, what do you want to do tonight? I don't know, my way, Blaine. Nah, that is the gringo pussy cat. Secret is togetherness. Father and son doing everything together. Why, only last spring I took my son on an ocean cruise, and we got seasick together. Now I have to explain that ocean cruise. Oh, the shame of it all. Well. Father and I were walking along the docks. I guess we better... ...your instructions. Nothing I hear will make me open that door. That's what makes me proud of my pop. Wherever he goes, he always makes a good impression. Father, how can I ever face my friends again after this mockery? How could you do this to your own flesh and fur? Now cut that out! Er, uh, do you know what that knob is for, son? Oh, yes, Father. You turn it to make it louder. Well, one good turn deserves another. So turn it already! Uh, too late, Sylvester. We've run out of time. Run out of time? But, 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 uh... Junior, would you come with me? I'd like to have a word with you. While Sylvester is playing patty cake with Junior, let's have a peek at next week's show. learned something tonight. I know a son who learned something, Mr. Bunny. What's that, Junior? After this, I'm gonna let sleeping cats lie. And I do mean lie. Uh, yeah. Well, good night, folks.
for you. I'll mend for you. I'll cook for you. Just let me watch the rest of the show. I can't have any interruptions because I don't want to miss what's coming up next. Even if you weren't in the last cartoon, you can still watch the rest of the show. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be able to watch it without you. What's all the fuss about him for? Carry me, too. I'm just as big a star as he is. <laughs> The craziest things happen on this show. Wait till you see what's coming up next. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. And you'll get a kick out of this. Don't you fly off the handle. The next cartoon will be big, yeah, going on soon. Uh, get off my bed. Oh, oh! Gee, I'm glad I'm up here. Look what they have on their TV set. Wait a minute. In, 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 my goodness, he sure got a bang out of that one. <laughs> and, and you'll get a bang out of it. Uh, what's next? <laughs> the craziest things happen on this show. Wait, wait, wait till you see what's coming up next. too when you see the next cartoon. <laughs> dear, 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 Daffy, you better pull yourself to, to, together to see what's coming up next. Hey, and, and, and now stop that. Uh, uh, cut that out. Yeah, put, uh, put me down. You can't be get rid of me. I'm the, the star of this show. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, maybe if I don't show the next cartoon on time, my name is Mud. What you doing, Mr. Fudd? I'm pitching a widow, hey. M mind if I make a pitch? Go right ahead. Oh, I, I don't mean that kind of pitch. I mean this kind. N not now, Sylvester. <clears throat> hey, Porky. Y go away, Daffy. Okay, folks. It's time for this um, message. And the in the net now, folks. Here's a, a very exciting movie. You're wrong, wise guy. A message. Next, a very funny movie. Ah, uh, next, a message. As I was saying, next, a very funny movie. Uh, after this message. <laughs> A word 
heard from R.C. as a sponsor. What I have here, we, well, as I was saying, I mean, as I was saying, uh, a word from our sponsor. In the minute now, in the minute now, did, did, did you see that? We, well, now see this. Well, it's time for us to go, uh, uh, leave. Next time we meet, we're planning something big. Just be sure to join us then for Porky Pig. Cause he's our favorite TV star. He comes on with a wham. He's got the laughing show back. Hey, Porky Pig? Our favorite ham. Don't forget, next time we meet, we're planning something big. Join us then for Porky Pig. Yeah, that's all, folks. We've been brought to you by... <laughs>